So this user on X that goes by the name of Riley Coyote posted this insane tweet that's been making a lot of noise in the AI space. He states, just got read in to some of what's happening internally at OpenAI and holy mother of God, I don't know how to even express my feelings without just sounding like hype. Like actually, I don't know what to say, but I'll share this. The innovators are coming. Problem is we don't know how they got here. So we'll get back to the part where he mentions problem is we don't know how they got here, potentially hinting at some emergent capabilities. But before that, what does he mean by innovators are coming? Well, if you look at OpenAI's five levels of AGI, this is a table they use to define essentially the five stages of AGI. It starts with level one, chatbots. These are just basic LLMs like ChatGPT. Then level two, reasoners, models that can actually reason. You can consider OpenAI's O1 and O3 in this level. Then level three is agents, AI systems that can actually take action. This is what we're supposed to start seeing more of this year. And then level four, innovators, AI that can aid in invention. And finally, level five, organizations, AI that can do the work of entire organizations. So the tweet reference level 4, innovators, AI that can aid in invention. This is essentially a combination of level 1, 2, and 3. For an AI to aid in invention, it would obviously need to understand language, be able to reason like a human would, and actually be able to perform tasks such as conducting research. So could OpenAI have developed the first ever true AI researcher? And if so, what does that mean for the world? You may remember this research paper titled Situational Awareness published last year by ex-OpenAI researcher Leopold Aschenbrenner. In this paper, there is a graph that displays the intelligence explosion. This is a scenario where once we develop automated AI research, it will kick off an intelligence explosion that quickly leads to superintelligence. Because research is really just a creation of new knowledge, whether through combining previous ideas or discovering entirely new ones. So literally everything that's ever been invented, including electricity, automobiles, the steam engine, the printing press, and many of the other revolutionary technologies have all come from extensive research. Now, we already have millions of human scientists and researchers working on some of the hardest problems out there, but at the end of the day, there's only so many human beings. When it comes to AI though, it's literally just software. It doesn't have to take breaks or days off, it works 24-7, and you can theoretically create an unlimited amount, depending on other constraints like compute and power. And one of the first things these AI companies will do once they have AI researchers is automate AI research itself, effectively creating self-improving AI. This is another reason why the intelligence explosion is a likely scenario given the creation of a true AI researcher. So while the only real proof we have that OpenAI may have achieved level 4 AGI, AI innovators, is this tweet, there was also this recent interview from about two months ago where Sam Altman sat down with the president of Y Combinator, Gary Tan, and in this interview, Altman says something really interesting in regards to AI innovators. Take a look. I mean, sounds like we went from level one to level two very recently, and that was really powerful. Um, and then we actually just had our O1 hackathon at YC. Yeah, that was so impressive. That was super fun. Um, and then weirdly, one of the people who won, I think they came in third, uh, was Camfer. And so CAD CAM startup, you know, did YC recently last year or two, and uh, they were able to, during the hackathon, build something that would iteratively improve an airfoil from something that wouldn't fly to literally something that had yeah that was awesome a competitive amount of lift and i mean that sort of sounds like level 4 which is uh, you know the innovator stage it's very funny you say that i i had been telling people for a while i thought that the level 2 to level 3 jump was going to happen but then the level 3 to level 4 jump was level 2 to level 3 was going to happen quickly and then the level 3 to level 4 jump was somehow going to be much harder and require some medium-sized or larger new ideas. And that demo and a few others have convinced me that you can get a huge amount of innovation just by using these current models in really creative ways. So Altman mentions this sort of shift in perspective or timeline shift where he's starting to think that things like super intelligence are a lot closer than he thought. Another indicator of this is this cryptic tweet he posted recently that states, I always wanted to write a six word story, here it is, near the singularity, unclear which side. Now I covered this in a previous video, but he's stating here that we are near the singularity, which is essentially the intelligence explosion, the moment at which machine intelligence surpasses human intelligence and continues to accelerate exponentially. He also mentions unclear which side, which are a few ways that you can interpret this, but he wrote here it's supposed to either be about one, the simulation hypothesis, or two, the impossibility of knowing when the critical moment in the takeoff actually happens, but I like that it works in a lot of other ways too. So either the singularity has already happened and we are simply in a simulation created by extremely sophisticated AI from the future, or we are actually approaching the singularity for the first time ever and it's impossible to predict when it may begin or if it already has. There was even this short clip from a recent podcast where Sam Altman once again talks about a fast takeoff looking more
more and more probable. What's something you've rethought recently on AI or changed your mind about? I think a fast takeoff is more possible than I thought a couple of years ago. How fast? feels hard to reason about, but something that's in like a small number of years rather than a decade. Wow. What do you think is the worst advice people are given on adapting to AI? AI is hitting a wall, which I think is the laziest fucking way to try to not think about it and just, you know, put it out of sight, out of mind. Now, it's not just Sam Altman who's been talking about superintelligence and the singularity recently. We also had this tweet from Google AI Studios product lead, Logan Kilpatrick. He states, straight shot to ASI is looking more and more probable by the month. This is what Ilya saw. So quickly, for those who are unaware of the Ilya lore, when Ilya Sutskever, co-founder and former chief AI scientist at OpenAI, left OpenAI about a year ago, there was a rumor going around that he may have saw something insane that prompted him to leave and start his own AI startup called Safe Superintelligence, focused on developing, well, safe superintelligence. This birthed the meme, what did Ilya see? And people started spreading a ton of crazy and esoteric rumors of what it could be. Now, as you'll see here, Kilpatrick states, Ilya founded SSI with the plan to do a straight shot to artificial superintelligence. No intermediate products, no intermediate model releases. Many people, me included, saw this as unlikely to work since if you get the flywheel spinning on models slash products, you can build a real moat. However, the success of scaling test time compute, which Ilya likely saw early signs of, is a good indication that this direct path to just continuing to scale up might actually work. So he's claiming here that what Ilya likely saw was the early signs of scaling test time compute, which is the new scaling paradigm that OpenAI's O1 and O3 models are based off giving the model more compute at inference and allowing it to essentially think. This new paradigm could literally be what takes us directly to super intelligence, at least that's what Ilya seems to believe. Now, he also states, we are still going to get AGI, but unlike the consensus from four years ago that it would be this inflection point moment in history, it's likely just going to look a lot like a product release with many iterations and similar options in the market within a short period of time, which FYI is likely the best outcome for humanity, so personally happy about this. So all this to say, the vibe at these AI companies has definitely shifted. It seems that AGI AI might not be as big of a deal as we once thought, we're still gonna get it, but super intelligence is what they are already setting their sights on. Now, back to the tweet, as you can see he provided more context, he states, others will begin red teaming what I saw sometime in April, hopefully. This is not 01, this is not 03, this is not 40, nor is it GPT-5. It is, however, an iteration or new version of an existing thing. So again, I want to reiterate, this is not confirmed or anything, but he's claiming that others will hopefully begin red teaming what he saw in April, which means that in April, we may potentially get more information. He mentions that this is not any model we've seen, although it is a new version of an existing thing. So could this be 01 or 03 paired with some new insane method or even some new scaling law? Who knows? I guess we'll have to wait and see. Personally, given that he says they don't know how it got here, essentially hinting at some emergent capabilities, I think this is likely just a product of scaling up test time compute. If OpenAI was truly able to achieve level 4 AGI AI innovators by simply scaling up test time compute, then we are truly on the cusp of super intelligence. I can't even imagine what Ilya Sutskever at SSI is working on behind closed doors. Now, what we do know for fact though is that this new scaling paradigm of test time compute is progressing a lot faster than anything we've previously seen. Here's a recent tweet from Jason Wei, an AI researcher at OpenAI. He states, O3 is very performant. More importantly, progress from O1 to O3 was only three months, which shows how fast progress will be in the new paradigm of reinforcement learning on chain of thought to scale inference compute. Way faster than pre-training paradigm of new model every one to two years. So so you know how we got a new GPT model every one to two years? Well, with the O model series, instead of every one to two years, it's likely going to be every few months. We already know OpenAI's preview of O3 absolutely demolished every benchmark, especially reasoning heavy benchmarks, and it is only the second iteration of the O model series. So we have a new scaling paradigm that is yielding tremendous results, especially in reasoning, more and more prominent figures in the AI space discussing the probability of superintelligence and a fast takeoff, and people like Ilya Suskever, one of the most brilliant minds in the space, creating an AI startup with only one focus, building safe superintelligence. Then we have this tweet here claiming that OpenAI has achieved AI innovators, level 4 AGI, behind closed doors. I mean, the signs are there. I truly think we are a lot closer to superintelligence and the intelligence explosion than people think. What an incredible time we are living in. Now, I'm curious to hear what you guys think about this though. How close do you think we really are to ASI and why? And is it something you are looking forward to or dreading? Anyways, that's all for today. If any new information arises in regards to this guy's tweet or in regards to OpenAI achieving level 4 AGI, I'll definitely make sure to keep you guys updated and as always thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed the video Please feel free to leave a like and if you want to stay up to date on future AI news just like this make sure to hit that subscribe button